Hi, welcome to Sask Moto. We're going to be exploring two Longmire filming locations, the Longmire Cabin and the Longmire Sheriff's Office. Getting out to the Longmire Cabin is a pretty beautiful drive from either Albuquerque, New Mexico or Santa Fe, New Mexico. From Albuquerque, it's about a two and a half hour drive. And from Santa Fe, New Mexico, it's about an hour and a half. Either way, the drive is beautiful. This was in early April of 2023 that I drove out there. As you can see, it's densely forested and there's a lot of trees. It's very beautiful out there. As you know, with New Mexico in general, it's deserty and uh, this was a lot different as you get up higher in the elevations. This is the turn off to get into the log miron cabin. And surprise, it's in a national park. It's the Valles Caldera National Park. And it's way deep in there. If you see that little hill on the right, it's way beyond that hill. So it's a pretty long drive in here. But I would imagine that during the summer it's beautiful. You can see all over the place. It was just gorgeous, even with the snow. I am pulling up to the ranger station. You have to uh, check into the ranger station in order to uh, go further down this road. They give you a pass and a map. Um, the fees are usually, I think, $25 per car. Um, but when we went, it was uh, free. There was no uh, charges for the parks yet. I was reading one of the signs, it's recommended to make your reservations early because the park fills up and it would take a long time to actually go through the park with all the people waiting. You have to sign up early, online only. They have a limited number of people that can go into this national park. So you'll have to look it up on the website. Here I speed it up, you know, part of the drive so that you don't have to sit through that whole thing. What was interesting was that during the shooting of the, the Longmire series, it looked like it was the only place around. Like he lived way outside where nobody was living. What was really interesting was there's about five cabins in this place. And the place that they filmed Longmire, it was called the Rancher's House. Coming through here was a little bit muddy, so I had to take a little bit slow, but straight ahead you can see the Lockmire cabin. Unfortunately they said that nobody can go in the actual cabin to take a tour of the cabin. Uh, they, they are actually remodeling it inside, so it was closed off and they said it would be closed off for a while. What was really fun was speaking to the park ranger who knew the history of the Longmire series and you know gave some insights about the filming, the cast, and so on and so forth. He had mentioned that uh, most of the filming for the first season was at the cabin and the subsequent seasons they actually filmed it in the back of an 18-wheeler 
which I found very interesting. And as you can see, here's that famous view outside of his house. The next stop, Las Vegas, New Mexico. Not Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas, New Mexico is located about an hour from Santa Fe. It's all freeway and it's about 67 miles from Santa Fe. As in with Hollywood, they cut out all of the stuff that you see along the way. When driving through Las Vegas, you notice that there's a lot of rundown homes and things like that as you know there are in the country, but it's a historic place. Apparently at one time it was uh, bigger than Albuquerque and Santa Fe, New Mexico. So here I am pulling into the famous Plaza Park. This park is in a lot of shots in Longmire. There's some awesome scenes where you can see him picking up trash as he's walking through the park or across the street. It's a beautiful old town with lots of stores, antique shops, galleries with paintings and things like that. On the right hand side is the Plaza Hotel and right directly in front is Longmire's Sheriff's Office. Right where that car is, is where he usually parked. What's interesting about this town too is that if you're parking on the outside of the plaza, you have to back in your car for every space. So as you notice as I drive through, all of the cars are backed in versus front forward. And there's the sheriff's office. What's cool about this is it still says Absaroka County. And surprise, it says Durant, Wyoming. But everybody knows, I think they know that it was filmed in New Mexico. In walking through the plaza, there's some beautiful statues. Here's a statue of one of the founding fathers of Las Vegas. And here's another great statue of the ancestry of the Indians or the Native Americans. And here's the historic Plaza Hotel that was built in 1891. Not only was Longmire filmed here, but Easy Rider and a couple of other movies were filmed here as well. I think there was a total of five or six movies that were filmed here. It's beautiful inside, and it's being restored right now. But a lot of it still remains. Here's a look at the recital hall or the dance hall. Here I am leaving Las Vegas, and I'm gonna go, and I'm going to drive down the main street. The main street was also in the pilot. You could see him, uh, Longmire, as he's driving down the street, waving at people. The tan building straight ahead is the bank, and there was a bank robbery scene filmed there. So it might look a little bit familiar if 
you're familiar with the Long Ladder series. Main Street, USA. You'll notice some of the shops that are still there. Tito's. Uh, that's a gallery. There's a fire station. And some other places that look closed up. But you'll notice them as you watch the show and you see this drive down the street. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.